Yes, I view Russia as a strategic threat to the United States and to Europe, and for a number of reasons. First of all, the organizing uh, principle of Russian foreign policy is to minimize, if not marginalize, U.S. influence abroad and to virtually eradicate uh, the kind of power and influence that we have in a broad range of international situations. I would also add that it's very clear that Russia has also strived uh, very directly to uh, uh, downplay uh, the values and to fragment the very institutions and alliances which the United States and Europe have. In fact, it has been even stated very directly here, uh, President Putin at the Munich Security Conference a number of years back uh, stated how Russia disagrees with the, these values and with the very paradigm that came uh, post-World War II that these institutions and alliances um, are not representative and clearly the actions are ones which undermine and seek to fragment the very traditional alliance, transatlantic alliance, which we've had. I would also point out that as part of a geostrategic threat, uh, we also see that Russia supports uh, aggressive activity and behavior, um, uh, undermining the Budapest Memorandum, Russia uh, illegally annexed uh, Crimea, and also invaded eastern Ukraine, which did undermine the Budapest Memorandum. The Budapest Memorandum clearly stated that Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty would be protected as Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons. So that kind of aggression flies and right in the face of such documentation and uh, is aggressive behavior which is not acceptable internationally and poses a threat. I would also add that there are activities that have taken place, like the building of uh, a defense base in the Arctic. A number of the Scandinavian countries have pointed out up near Svalbard, which is the northernmost human settlement in the Arctic Circle, that there is the building, and it has been built, a, um, uh, a specific uh, base uh, uh, set up by the Russians. So, in sum, yes, it does pose a geostrategic uh, threat to the United States and also to Europe at large. Russia has uh, a number of issues which is definitively impacting its power base. Uh, first, uh, uh, the economy. Uh, Russia's economy is in dire straits. There's a dependence on its energy sources, uh, virtually a sole dependence on its energy sources. There hasn't been a diversification of its industry or a modernization, which in turn would help economic growth in, in Russia. That dependency on its energy source, sources has, although sustained Russia economically, has not contributed to economic growth. And in fact, when you look at the figures and the data, it is in dire strait, uh, economic dire straits. I would also add that Russia has a number of other challenges internally. There's a brain drain, a lot of very talented young Russians who have left Russia because of the lack of economic opportunities there. And then there's also the demographic data. If one looks at the demographic data, in particular one of uh, the issues affecting uh, the state of internal affairs in Russia is the fact that you have a high a maternal, um, uh, a high male mortality rate. Uh, in other words, uh, young men are not living <laughs> uh, longer lives. Uh, roughly in the range of 55, uh, you have a high percentage of uh, young males who are dying uh, from uh, uh, diseases, alcoholism, other kinds of environmental uh, degradation and concerns. These demographic concerns 
are ones which are impacting the internal situation in Russia. And then there's corruption. So I would pick out that internally Russia has uh, uh, issues that are impacting its growth economically, a lack of modernization, uh, the brain drain of talent and of younger people, also the demographics uh, which have resulted in a reduced population, and also uh, the corruption which has been per pervasive and in turn has prevented uh, uh, greater foreign investment uh, from uh, and innovativeness from taking place in Russia. I would say that simply the role has not been a constructive one. I think that when you look at on balance in terms of the role that Russia has played internationally, it has been one of disruption. Uh, disruption in terms of uh, uh, providing uh, military assistance uh, to rogue regimes. I look at the case of the Middle East and the arms that have gone into uh, Iran, for example. Also in the case of the Nordic um, area and the Arctic, where there's a real desire to have uh, a, a kind of stabilized situation, that we have the building of a military base. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the need is for a military base in up near Svalbard. So uh, in short and in sum, the role seems to be not a constructive one, but that of a disruptor uh, and destabilizing the international community and undermining American influence and American power.